Well, good morning, welcome to the channel, and how are you today? I'm doing good, and I thought, you know, I'm gonna make an attempt to paint the engine cover in my Toyota Tacoma. You know, I've been toying with a way to do this for a while, trying to figure out, I've used decals in the past, and yeah, they work okay, but I wanted something a little different, something a little better. So, I thought I would try something that is more suited to my skill level. And uh, that is uh, paint markers, paint pens, actually. These actually have real paint in them. And I thought, you know, I ought to be able to trace around the things on the engine cover there, get it the way that I, get it the way that I want. I have a bunch of different colors you can see here. So we're going to pull this cover off. I'm going to clean it up a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to see if I can uh, make it look the way that I want to try to dress up the engine bay of the Tacoma a little bit. So, let's go ahead, pull this thing off, pretty simple, lift up, pull out, that takes it off, and it is rather dirty right now, so I am going to spray it down a bit, clean it off, but what I'm looking to do is highlight everything that's on the cover here, the little Toyota badge, and then the uh, V6 part, and then this uh, D4S that's up here above everything. So we're going to see how this works, I don't know. So what I'm going to use, uh, again, is a, a paint pen, get this over here so you can see it, um, several different colors in here. I'm going to go with probably, I'm thinking blue and maybe red or maybe the two different shades of blue on here um, to match the truck. I could go all red or whatever, but I don't know. Let's see. So we'll take out the blue, the red and maybe this other blue and we'll see what kind of damage we can do now these things again they are real paint uh, it is an acrylic paint and the way they work uh, the paint needs to flow down here through the tip of course you push this tip in and it will fill this chamber with paint and then you can just kind of trace over whatever it is you want to paint okay we're going to go ahead and get started um, as I mentioned, first you have to get the paint flowing in the end of the tip here. So what you do is you hold it down and the paint, ideally, you're supposed to shake it. I should have done that before. But you hold it down to get the paint flowing onto the tip. So we're going to do that a couple of times to get it nice and saturated. You guys can see it showing up. There you go and then you would just paint like so. Um, so that's the idea. Now, let's go ahead and get this thing under here. I'm gonna go blue with the letters, I think, um, and then maybe red for the Toyota badge. I'm not exactly sure which way I'm gonna go yet, but I can always paint over it if it doesn't work out the way that I want it, I guess. Um, so. Here we go. Let's start with the S, I guess, over here. Again, I just want to hit the top of the letter itself. Just kind of tracing around the letter. Hopefully the paint doesn't run, because that would suck. I won't say it takes a overly steady hand, but it does take a fairly steady hand. go. You just want to make sure you don't slip over the edge, right? Oh, my camera's not cooperating either. You probably won't have to worry about that when you're doing this, if you decide to do this. Unless, of course, you're a YouTuber and you're filming. You do want to go rather quick. I am noticing it is starting to dry already, which is a good thing. Let's go to the four. quicker the better it seems okay so 
I messed it up there by touching it again. So even straight strokes seems to work uh, the best so far. I've never done this before, so bear with me if uh, my methods are different. <laughs> okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's see, let's go with the dash next here. Or the arrow, I guess it is. Keep my hands away from the stuff I've already done. Hopefully I'm not shaking too much while I'm doing this. I probably am. And I'm assuming you could do a second coat with this if you wanted to. Although I'm not exactly sure how it reacts uh, with itself. Give you a closer view. So far I'm digging it. Even somebody with my uh, limited skill level. There you go. Okay, still drying up there. Did have to touch up a few spots. So there may be different heights in the paint. Uh, but again, you won't be able to see that from a distance, of course. But let's go ahead and tackle the V6. I am going to do that in blue as well. So let's go ahead and hit that. There is the V6. Came out pretty well, I think. I hope. Don't see any running paint on this one, so that's good. Next, we're going to tackle the Toyota badge here. Um, I am going to go with red. Uh, kind of an homage to the TRD theme. So we're going to give that a try next. This will be the most complicated one, of course, because it has lots of angles and uh, curved edges. So, uh, and no real defined edge like these other ones are. So this one's gonna be maybe a little more interesting to do. Okay, here we go with the Toyota badge. I'm not sure how red this red is gonna be. We'll see. And again, the problem here is, is the edges curve. There's no defined edge like there is with the rest of this. So, gonna be a little freehandish, which is definitely not up my alley. So, let's uh, let's give it a try. See what happens. Okay, got it all done. It came out okay. Um, and the only reason I say okay is because of that Toyota emblem. That was a little difficult to do because there's no sharp edges, no defined edges, I guess. So let's take a look. You guys can see this is what I've got. Um, it would be nice if the red was a little bit darker, I think. It does add a little bit of color underneath the hood. Um, I'm happy with it. Uh, I think with a little more practice, probably could have been closer to perfect. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. My first attempt, got my flame suit on, so I'm ready. Um, real quick, if you haven't before, check out my other channel. It is Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Also, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.